Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. This is Christmas Eve for me. That's an 18 inch round stretch canvas. I have pre-painted on top of its original store-bought primer with some Artist Loft in Flow Trial and Gack 800. This paint is so old, it's ridiculous, but it's been under glad press and seal and I believe it's still viable. I hope I'm right. <laughs> but I'm going to put some Chantilly lace and other things on top of it and we're going to see how it works. Chantilly lace is a prism pour, so is um, True Silver. I'm a color art affiliate. You can find a color art coupon code underneath the video. Maybe I just won't scoop deep. I don't think that's a possibility actually. So I've been thinking about blues. I have a lot of beautiful blues starting with some Royal Sapphire. And moving on to Frozen which is been catching my eye a lot lately. I don't mind covering up all the colors in the bottom. I'm not sure I'm going to recommend you ever save your colors as long as I have. I'm going to slide in a little bit of Primary Elements Aubergine. The Frozen is a prism, prism pour. Okay, it's not cooperating so I'm just going to pull that top right off. Take the clot out, which was sizable. And I must have at some point in time left the, the twist cap open. Okay, aubergine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. I'm going to slide. Whoop! <laughs> this is the agave blue. I believe it's a. Um, a primary element. It's very similar to Frozen but it's a bit darker and it's going to be a nice color. It's gorgeous color actually. I see Iris is a pr primary element. I don't want this to be too even. I want some I want some large clots of color and I picked out a whole lot of colors and I don't know if I'm even going to use them all but I'd like to see what happens. This is Prussian Violet. This is another prism, excuse me, another uh, primary element. And I chose that instead of the Midnight Shadow this time. This is, I should have checked it was open, but it is open so that's good. This is Blue Velvet. I may top off the end with a little bit of more um, True Silver. I'm going to slide in some Mystique. I've been waiting to see if I could get some more of this and I haven't got it yet. So this might be the end of it. This is a primary element. It's a fabulous turquoise color. It reminds me the most of the Pebeo Iridescent blue-green. I've got just enough left to do something else with. I want to take a chance. Oh, this is the sour lemon that I always add a little orange to. I don't want to go crazy. I can always add more color. If I like it, I can add more. And if I hate it, I can eradicate it. This is Egyptian blue. Another primary element I thought I shook. quite dark. And I want to move some of these away. I wanted to use, did I use the cerulean blue already? I think it won't hurt me to use it again though. Well, depends on if it's open or not. Seems to be quite a few bottles that need to be tended to. Take the tabs out of the top. 
And I have some Snapdragon, and I'm still contemplating whether I'm going to add pink or not, and I think I will. I've got a nice ginger, ginger flower from Primer Element coming up. This is Snapdragon. This is a wonderful blue-purple. I think the ginger flower is going to make all these colors together sing. That's my theory. I didn't add any deep amethyst. I probably don't need it. But I did it anyway. And as long as I'm there, I can't... I, can't, I tried to restrain myself from adding the wild orchid, but I think I think that's going to be the one that makes it. Somebody told me they didn't like my work anymore because it had too much purple in it. But uh, I am an Aquarian. <laughs> this is the ginger flower. Now, at some point in time, I may add some black. It's possible. I did pull it out. And I temporarily misplaced my Artist Loft, oh, Mead and Black. It used to be Artist Loft. So I have some Atelier. I don't know why I'm worried about getting anything out of the way. We're not going to spin. I did mean to make a separate container of colors. And I don't know what's going to happen because these are so old. But I am going to just go ahead and do it. I'm going to wipe off the bottom. And if you stop and wait, the shovel will often release its contents. And don't ever be afraid to pick it up and move it. Twice, or stack things. Just keep on keeping on. That makes me want some orange. <laughs> Uh, somebody in the audience is going, yep, we know you. The orange had to come out. I don't have a lot left. This is the orange crush. And so far, I'm not too unhappy. Oh, I just let it swallow itself. Darn. Maybe I can still get some more out of it. The bottles are in the way. I'm going to have to use some more orange. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put it right in the shovel and see how that works. <clears throat> I get a dig in the canvas, a lot of times I can resolve my issue by dribbling my paint. Or even dotting. I want some more Chantilly lace. I can't believe I'm getting away with this, honestly. It was probably pretty brazen of me to try it anyway. With that really old paint. Whoops. That was the bottle's fault. <laughs> it's my story and I'm sticking to it. But I do think I can probably just go right over that.
I like to try and pick up a little bit at a time. And add to designs. I am never ever sure of myself when I'm doing this. The less I worry about it, the better off I am. I think we got some of the color from the bottom. And it's not looking too attractive. But it doesn't mean I can't cover it. Because that is something that's really nice about these acrylics. They're not that hard to cover. So far so good. I think we can survive whatever mistakes I feel like I made. Usually it's a very forgiving process if you just keep at it. I've already started to dot which I have every intention of doing some more of. I'm going to grab a little bit more orange, I think. I might do a stick pour after this, like a dipstick. Now that was a very calculated placement of that orange doesn't really help me with the thing I wanted to cover in here. Or try and cover. I'm going to grab some more pink. So far so good. I do keep dribbling. That's not really advised. I did decide to use a white canvas for a change, so if I wanted to put some dots in, I could do that. I'm going to grab some paint and dribble. I'm not sure how that's going to go, just based on the fact that I have that heavy paint underneath. Which I have been using for more than one project, by the way. i got to stop dripping. Wow. I kind of like that negative space, but I'm not sure how to deal with it. I'm not sure I'm done. Maybe I'll just finish off that. The tip of that moon shape. I kind of don't mind that at all. I do see something I want to change, and if I can grab a skewer... There's usually a skewer here somewhere. And I'm hoping that's just going to fill right back in. And I am going to use the residual paints I've got. I'm not sure that's the right skewer to do that with. And I don't like that right there. 
and a lot of times you can just roll a skewer and it will pick up the paint that you don't like. Now I think I like that yellow enough to use it again but I want to be sparing with it. I might dot with it. That could be very cool. And I didn't use any yellow, I mean any green, but I'm pretty sure that this will make green. And I have got to the end of a lot of, all right, taking a lot of time. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means that even when my paint is heavy, it should not crack. This might be the ultimate test of that. That was a cool mark. And I want to grab a skewer and start to dot. So when that timer goes off, we're done. And uh, where's my pink? Because I want to put some pink dots in as, as well as probably some orange ones. And I think I'm just going to work right out of my shovel. Helps if you don't rub your fingers on the painted back side of the shovel. <laughs> Just making little marks wherever I feel like it. I don't want the dots to be too big because they will meld in with nearby painted areas. I don't really want that. But they do add a lot of interest. And I don't mind mixing my colors at all. And if you want tiny dots, just use the pointed end of the skewer. And even with... Yep, that's good. That's working for me. That's a kind of a funky spiral. But I like the oddness of it. For sure. I'm going to grab a little more pink. I want a fairly good sized dot in there. We will run out of time. I cannot get it all done. So I'll tell you guys I love you. Check my link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My Amazon link has my two books on it. Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities are the first and the second 100 videos I created for YouTube. And uh, all the processes are still relevant. I like this. It's got a little more negative space than some. And I think I'm going to be okay with the white. Especially since I... I have to deal with the fact that there's a canvas texture, but that is one of the reasons that if you don't like the canvas texture that you should um, gesso. There might be a little extra time. I think I started my timer late. I'm not sure, but you'll be gone soon. So, holiday, holiday wishes for everybody, and uh, if it's not the holidays anymore, hi. <laughs> you can leave me comments. You can ask me questions. I'm happy to help. Let's grab the, the pointed end of this and show you guys. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Especially anywhere where you have a little bit of scrape, shovel scrape that doesn't look right to you. Make sure once you start your dots, you use up your paint. And of course, you don't need a shovel. You just need a nearby area to steal paint from. And a lot of times if you have a long gap that you want to add dots to, if you go every other one, then you can fill in and they come out more evenly. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up. When you share my videos, you help me out. Your donations keep me painting. My membership is $9.99 a month, and there is over 80 videos for members only. This is pretty cool. I'm probably going to keep right on dotting. I don't know how far.